So today we will be focusing on five poses that will help us relieve knee pain or discomfort. Now we want to keep a block and a belt by our side. We can go ahead and dive straight in. Sitting in our most comfortable position, very gently closing our eyes. Setting our intention for today's practice. What would you like to achieve? And also, how would you like to be feeling when you step off the mat? Checking in with our breath, placing one palm over the chest, the other over your lower belly. As we inhale, allowing the chest to expand followed by expanding the lower belly. Exhale, chest sinks in, and completing your exhalation by pulling your belly in towards your spine. We'll take three more breaths. At the end of our exhalation, releasing our palms back down, we can start to open our eyes with a few blinks. Very first posture for today is our downward facing dog. So we're going to come up onto all fours, palms and our knees. Keeping your palms shoulder width apart, index fingers parallel to one another. We can start to tuck the toes in on an exhalation, pull the belly in, lift your hips up as high as you can. And can we start to pedal our feet? Pushing one heel down at a time, just to warm up the body. Breathing easy. If at any point it gets too intense, please feel free to drop your knees down, take a breath, and then join right back in. Now, slow and easy, we're going to drop our knees down to the ground. Now, taking a moment here, and then once again, exhale. Can we pop the hips up high? Now, slight bend in the knees, and on your next inhalation, we're going to straighten and squeeze the legs. Slight bend in the knees, and then inhale, straighten and squeeze. We are powering the muscles, also helping to strengthen the knees. Bend and inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. We'll try that five more times. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and inhale. Now gently dropping our knees back down to the ground. Now we're going to take it to another variation, really working on strengthening the muscles around our knees. Now we're going to grab onto the block or your thick book that you have. We're going to place it in between our thighs. Now, palms firmly down in the ground. On your next exhalation, pull the belly in. We're going to lift up and straighten both your legs out to your maximum. Stay super strong, super engaged. Breathing easy. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now gently releasing your knees down to the ground. We're going to take the block away. We're going to take a moment here coming into child's pose. So sit all the way back onto your heels and we can gently either rest our forehead down onto the ground or crossing both your hands in front of you and resting your forehead down. 
breathing easy. We will take five long breaths here. Relaxing the shoulders, your neck, your wrist. So today we're taking our child's pose as just our resting posture. But the child's pose also helps us with massaging the knees. If this gives you too much of a discomfort, please feel free to avoid this posture and sitting in your easy cross leg seated position instead. We'll take three more breaths. gently guiding ourselves all the way up onto all fours. Our next posture is our garland pose or the full squat. So we're going to very gently lift ourselves up into our downward facing dog. Now we're going to step both our feet forward, keeping your feet met with apart, pointing out very gently. Now I want you to drop your hips down to your maximum, have your elbows against your knees and we're going to lengthen our spine. Now if this is too intense for you, you can grab onto the block, place it behind you, sitting on top of the block instead, whichever works best. Deep long breaths here. We will take five, four, three, lifting your heart a little further, two, and one. Now we're going to very gently drop the palms down. If you're using the block, just keeping it aside, we're going to step back onto all fours, taking a moment here, just swing a little side to side. Now we're going to try that one more time. So gently pop yourself up into your downward dog, gazing forward, stepping your feet to the front. We're going to drop the hips down, have your elbows against your knees, lengthening your spine, lifting your heart. We will take five, four, feel free to use the block if you need to, three, two and one. Gently dropping your palms down, stepping back into your downward dog, giving your legs a bit of a stretch, breathing. Gazing forward, coming into your cross leg seated position. Our next posture is our reclined big toe pose. So, Gently coming down onto the mat, keeping our knees bent, feet down on the ground. On your next inhalation, can you start to lift your right foot up towards the ceiling? Now, try your best to straighten the leg out to your maximum, squeezing that thigh, breathing easy. Pushing that right heel up towards the ceiling. We'll take a little longer. Then we're going to very gently lower the right foot back down. Now, switching over to the other side, can we start to lift our left leg up high? Breathing, straighten the leg out to your maximum, pushing the left heel up for the ceiling. Breathing easy, roll your shoulders back, keep your neck long.
couple more breaths. And gently lowering our foot back down. Now, swing a little in our hips, moving from side to side. Now, we're going to grab onto the belt that we have or your towel. We're going to place the belt around the ball of your right foot, lifting the right leg up towards the ceiling. Now, whenever you are ready, we're going to extend the left leg out ahead of you. Now, if this is too intense, feel free to just keep your left knee bent, whichever works best for you. Breathing easy. Try to straighten the right leg out to your maximum, squeezing that thigh. Deep, deep breaths. Feel free to close your eyes, enjoying that stretch. Slow and easy, we're going to bend the right knee, taking the belt away, and we're going to give both our legs a bit of a shake. Now switching over to the other side, bending both our knees, feet down on the ground, belt around the ball of your left foot. Lifting the left leg up high, only if this is feeling comfortable, extending the right leg out ahead of you. Once again, listening to your body, breathing into those knees, your hamstrings, your shoulders. Now, slow and easy, bending the left knee. We're going to release the belt, extending the legs up, giving our legs a bit of a shake. We're going to very slowly bend back both our knees. Going into our fourth posture, can we grab onto the block that you have beside you? We're going to lift our hips up, placing it under our sacrum and we can start to lift both our feet up towards the ceiling. If you find that you can't really hold it comfortably in this posture, feel free to move closer towards the wall and have your feet against the wall instead. So feel free to modify the posture to suit your needs. You can either flex your feet in or you can just relax them. Feel free to experiment a little.
five more breaths. Slow and easy, bending your knees, dropping your feet down to the ground. We're going to lift our hips up, taking your support away. Now, fifth and final posture for today. We're going to come into our reclining bound angle pose. So connecting the soles of your feet together, allowing your knees to fall to either side. If you're getting any discomfort in the knees from this position, you can either place blocks or pillows under your leg for support, whichever works best for you. We can place our left palm over the heart, right palm over your lower belly, relaxing your elbows, your shoulders down onto the mat. With every breath, allow the body to get a little heavier, allowing yourself to sink a little deeper down into the ground. Five more breaths here. On our next inhalation, we can start to guide our knees back in. As we exhale, releasing our legs out ahead of us. Hold that to wiggle our toes, give slight movement to our fingers, turning our head to the left and right. Squeezing all our toes together, pulling in our kneecaps, tightening our thighs, tucking in our tummy, making a fist with our hands, tightening our shoulders, chest, facial muscles, five, four, three, two, one, and completely relaxing. Letting go of any tension, any kind of stress, any pain. Whenever you're ready, we're going to turn to our side and then guide ourselves up 
into our comfortable seated position. Rubbing our palms together, massaging our neck, shoulders, lower back, our hips, and knees. Give it some extra love and care for those knees. We can gently bring both our palms to heart center, opening our eyes with a few blinks. Thank you very, very much for joining me today. Please rest well, drink lots of water, nourish your body, and I will see you very soon.